Hey, it's Corbett Lunsford from Green Dream Group in Chicago. On behalf of the Building Performance Workshop, I would like to take a few minutes to explore Stack Effect. Stack Effect is one of the most important things about building performance and how buildings work. Simply put, it is warm air rises, cool air sinks. To be exciting, we're going to look at this from the point of view of a skyscraper. So uh, in the skyscraper, we've got two very important uh, tenants in it. We've got the tenant on the first floor, and we've got the tenant in the penthouse. These two people are probably very different. They might have different outlooks on life. They pay very different amounts for their homes, but they also are going to experience different things in the building based on stack effect. Now, let's look at stack effects birth. First thing that always happens in order to create a stack effect is you turn on the HVAC. So let's imagine that we're in the wintertime. First thing that happens is we kick on the furnace to make ourselves warm. There's warm air created. That warm air all goes up. Uh, that means that we've got a high pressure system at the top of the building and a low pressure at the bottom of the building. And this goes for your house too, not just skyscrapers. And then warm air escapes the building and cool air gets sucked in at the lowest pressure point in the building. That is where the homeowner starts feeling something. So if you feel a draft in your home, just be aware that there are many things that have happened in order for that to happen. You want to do a full checkup first and find out all the symptoms that might be hiding from you before you start doing crazy surgery on homes, which is what we're normally used to. Now, in the wintertime, let's look at that scenario that we've got there. The person on the first floor is probably in the four elements that I'm always looking at, which are heat flow, airflow and pressure, moisture, and air quality. They're probably going to experience problems in specific areas here. So let's look at it in terms of just heat flow. Are they going to experience heat flow problems? Meaning, are they going to have high utility bills for heating? Yes, they are, because they're getting cold air coming into their unit. Airflow and pressure, are they going to feel drafts in the wintertime? Yes, they are. They're going to feel cold air coming in at them. Moisture. Are they going to feel like they have too much moisture in their home? No, they're not, because the cold air that comes in, cold air is always dry air. It's part of what makes relative humidity relative. So they're going to feel like it's actually too dry in their place. They might have to install humidifiers and run them way more than the people elsewhere in the building. And then air quality, the last part of my list. Are they going to have air quality problems? Let's imagine, just to be nice, that this uh, skyscraper is located next to a park. No, they're not going to have air quality problems. They're going to get nice, fresh park air coming into their place. Now, let's look at the penthouse dweller. Is the penthouse person going to have heat flow problems? Meaning, are they going to have high heating bills? No. They're inheriting the heat that everyone else in the building has generated. Are they going to have airflow and pressure problems? Meaning, are they going to feel drafts? No, they're not. Even though drafts are happening, they're leaving the envelope in the penthouse, not coming in. So you would never know that they're uh, happening at all. Moisture. Is the person on the top floor going to have moisture problems in the wintertime? Yes, they are. They are inheriting air that has been cooked and uh, used for bathroom air and uh, breathed and perspired from the rest of the building. So they're going to have all this wet and smelly air coming up to their place. That leads to air quality problems as well. So we've got some pretty important stuff. And by the way, the bottom of my list is the most important part of my list because that's where comfort and real quality of life lives. Now let's flip over to summer. First thing always that happens when we create stack effect is we turn on the HVAC, we turn on the air conditioner, air sinks through the building, we create high pressure in the bottom, low pressure in the top, air leaves the building at the bottom and it gets sucked in at the top. Now let's go back to our first floor dweller. Will they have problems with heat flow? Meaning, will they have high cooling bills? No, they won't. They're inheriting the cool, dry air that's been air conditioned from everyone else in the building. Will they experience drafts? Meaning, airflow and pressure problems. No, they won't, because air is leaving their envelope. Even though drafts are happening, they are not experienced by the dweller. Moisture, are they gonna have moisture problems? No, they're not. They're getting cool, dry air from everyone else in the building. And air quality. Will they have air quality problems? Well, yeah, like we said, they're getting this air that's been breathed and perspired and, you know, all that kind of s smelly stuff that's happening in the building ends up in their unit. Okay, now, penthouse. Back to the rich person. Uh, this person paid a lot of money for this place, so let's hope that this works out for them. Will they experience high cooling bills, meaning they have heat pro problems? Yes, they will. They will be paying the highest air conditioning bill in the entire building in the summertime. Will they experience drafts? Yes, they will feel hot 
moist air coming in at them from outside. Will they have moisture problems? Well, yeah, there's hot, moist air coming into their place. And will they have air quality problems because there's hot, moist air coming into their place that they have very carefully air conditioned? Yes. Who is the person that you would want to be in this situation? You do not want to live in the penthouse if you are looking at it as a building scientist. So just make sure that next time you buy a place in a skyscraper, buy in the middle or at the bottom. Uh, I hope that you uh, use this well in your own home. I'm Corbett Lunsford. This is Green Dream Group. Tune in next time.